fine examples of under critical point, maximum point, minimum and more saddle point. So we start with what? Proper example. So let's give you example one. You can get f of what x equal to x what cube minus what? 12x minus what? 1. Okay. So this one, to find a critical point, always what? You have to differentiate all, all the equations. So y prime of what? Of x, which is the same as what? Df over what? Dx. And it's equal to what? 3x squared minus what? 12 minus what? 0, which is the same as what? 3x squared minus what? 12. But we know that for critical point, this dy df, sorry, df dx is equal to 0. So in place of what df dx, we put in what this whole thing. So we are going to get what? 3x squared minus 12, which is equal to 0. So here, we try to what? Find what x the subject. So here, make x the subject. So we are going to get x squared, 3x squared, equal to what, 12. If we divide both sides by what, 3. Both sides by 3. We are going to get x squared equal to what, 4. Then we take square root on both sides. When we do so, we are going to get square root on both sides. That's plus or minus 4. So when we do so, we are going to get what, x equal to what, plus or minus what, 2. So your answer here is what, plus or minus 2. And this is your critical point, plus or minus what, 2 is your critical point. Then from here, where we had what, df dx equal to what, 3x squared minus 2. It's simple. If you want to look, at, look for the critical point, this critical point, you just look for what, the numbers. When you put it inside the equation, the equation will go to 0. So here, you can figure out 2 out. So when you put 2 inside the equation, you're going to get 2 squared, 3 times or 2 squared. Minus what? 12. Okay, minus 12. Minus 12. Which is equal to what? 12 minus what? 12. And it's equal to what? 0. When you put in negative 2, 2, you're going to get what? dy, sorry, df dx equal to 3, 3 negative 2 raised to the power 2 minus 12. And now I want to give what? 12 minus 12, which is equal to what? 0. So meaning that plus a negative 2 is what is the critical point for what for the this function this whole function so let's try to find for what the maximum the minimum and the saddle point to find the maximum point is simple you just find out the second derivative of what of the first equation you differentiate this one twice that's the second derivative we already have what the first derivative which is what dy df dx, which is equal to 3x squared minus what? 12. That is the first derivative. If you want to find the second derivative, you already get d, d square f over what? dx squared equal to what? 6x minus what? 0, which is the same as what? 6x. So here, that is the second derivative. Always when you want to find the maximum, minimum, and the saddle point. After finding the second derivative, just put in what the answer you had for the critical point. Mm -hmm. So here, if you put in the answer you had for what the critical point, you're going to get what six times what two, and is equal to what eighteen. That is eighteen. So when you put in what two, you're going to get what twelve, and this one. You can see the answer you had what is positive. And whenever you, the, the final answer for what, after putting in what the critical point is positive, it means that you are at what? At the minimum point. When you get the answer to be what positive, you are at the minimum point. When you get the answer to be what? To be negative, then you are at what? At the maximum point. Then let's put in what? Another one. When x is equal to negative 2. When x is equal to negative 2. You're going to get what? 6 times what? Negative 2. Which is equal to what? Negative what? 12. Okay. So here we have positive for 12 and we have negative 12. So how can we check whether we are at what? At the maximum, minimum or saddle point? To check the saddle point is simple. Here, 
whenever what, the maximum point is equal to what is equal to the saddle point, it means that we are the saddle point. Meaning that when you find the second derivative after putting in the critical point and your final answer is equal to zero, then you are what? You are what? The saddle point. Yeah, that's the idea of it. So here you have negative 12 and you have positive 12. So how can we check? We are at what maximum point, which is what? Which is which is negative 12, and we are at what minimum point. Uh, we are at minimum point, which is positive 12. So here in the case we are at what at the saddle point. So if you here 12 add to what at positive is going to give us what? Zero. So we can also get up to what at the saddle point. Saddle point is what? Is at the point where you don't know whether you are at what at the minimum or you are at what at what at the maximum point. Meaning minimum point is equal to at the maximum point. Thank you.